This artist is named Wassily Kandinsky, and this is one of his paintings. Let's take a look at it. In his paintings, he uses many different kinds of brush strokes. Today, we will use many different kinds of brush strokes and learn something about using paint. When you paint, the first thing you need to do is set up your work area. And you notice I've got newspaper on my table. I've got a container of water. I've got my paint, red, yellow, and blue. Those are the three primary colors. And my brush and my piece of paper. Now, these colors are wet, so I don't need to get my brush wet before I use them. I can start right out using them. And I take a little bit of the red, and I'm going to try different strokes. I'm going to try using my brush just on the edge of it, see how the line is thin, and I can make a curved line. Or I can use my brush on the wide part and make a fat line. Okay, now I'd like you to try some of these things. Make some dots with a corner of my brush. Um, all different kinds of lines. See how the lines get thick and thin? Okay, you try some of that now. I'm going to use a different color now, and before I do that, it's very important that I wash my brush. See how much red paint is in my brush? I'm scrubbing it back and forth on the bottom of my container, and it's making my water all pink. Just think what it would do if I put it in the other paint without uh, washing it. Now see, I blotted on a piece of paper towel, and now it should be clean and ready to use. So this is yellow. This is the second primary color. Let's try some other kinds of lines with the yellow. How about some curved lines going up and down? See how I held my uh, brush in the same direction, but because it's a fat brush on one side and skinny on the other, it made fat and skinny lines. See how I'm making some skinny lines now with just the edge of my brush. With a flat part of my brush, I made a fat line. Skinny and fat. And I want some more yellow paint. So how about a few dots with a corner of the brush? OK. <clears throat> well, I want to switch to blue now. So I remember what I need to do. I need to scrub my brush back and forth, back and forth round and round, get all of that paint out of it. The water has some red in it, but it's still clean enough to wash the brush right now. Blot the brush. Okay, now it's uh, clean enough I can use some blue. All right, what can I do with the blue? I'll try some uh, dots and some swirly lines and things like that, just like I did with the other colors. Here's a zigzag line. Okay, I'd like you to try some of these lines, some of these different kinds of curved lines and zigzag lines, and um, some lines thicker than others, and just get used to using your brush. Okay, now let's do some color mixing. Let's see what happens when we mix yellow. I'm taking some yellow and putting it over here on my palette. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more. Now I need to wash my brush because I'm going to get another color to mix with the yellow. And I don't want to mess up my other color. So see how I scrub my brush back and forth and dab it on my paper towel. Now take a little bit of red and see how the red is in the yellow and I'm going to mix it all up. And you see how the color has changed? What color does that look the most like, do you think? I need to put some more yellow in there, but remember, I need to wash my brush first. Otherwise, what happens to the yellow? Yep, that's right. Okay, a little bit more yellow. Okay, see what color this is? Yellow and red make orange. Now try painting some with the orange paint on your brush. Doing different kinds of brush strokes, just like we did with the other ones side of your brush and front of your brush. Okay. I'm going to try some more color mixing so I have to wash out my brush.
Okay, now I'm going to take some yellow again with my clean brush. And wash my brush. <laughs> Not put it in the blue paint dirty. Blot it. Take some blue, a little bit of blue, and mix it right in there with the yellow. And what color do I get then? That's green. So blue and yellow make green, right? All right. Let's try painting with our green a little bit. You try a few strokes. Okay, I've cleaned off my brush and now I am going to try some red. Take some red put it on my palette, take some more and put it on my palette. And before I get my blue, I need to wash my brush again. It's always good to remember to wash your brush. It keeps your paint clean. Dab it. Make sure all the paint's out. Now a little bit of blue and mix it with the red. Now blue and red, what does that look like the most like to you? What color does that look like? A purple? Blue and red are supposed to make purple. Now it looks like I really need maybe more blue in there. so. Wash my brush again, a little bit more blue, and mix it all up. All right, that looks like a purple. Now I'll try a few strokes and dots and see how many different kinds of strokes and dots you can make with your brush with purple now. Isn't it fun to experiment with different colors? Okay, remember, the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Blue and yellow make green. Blue and red make purple. And yellow and red make orange. 